When we make the menus like lap, nam jim jiao, or some other Thai isan or Laos recipes, this ingredient is often the star of the dishes. It brings so much aroma and texture to the meal. And most people would just make this themselves because it is very fast and easy to make. Now let's make it together. Grow toasted rice or khao kua. สวัสดีค่ะ It's Pam again from Thai Girl in the Kitchen. As usual, I'm here to show you one of the easy homemade recipes. If you like cooking, especially Thai, don't forget to subscribe. Okay, first ingredient. Traditionally, we are using glutinous rice, but if you don't have, jasmine rice is totally okay to substitute. This is optional for the nicer aroma. We are adding a few kaffir lime leaves and a lemongrass. Peel off the outer leaf. Some people might add some galangal as well, but That ingredient is really difficult to find where I'm living, so I'm gonna be a bit stingy with it. Then prepare a clean, dry container with a lid to keep it. I already have one that has some khao kua left a bit. I will just add them to this jar. Now we're just gonna slice the lemongrass into small pieces. And for kaffir lime leaves, this is the easy way to remove the stems. Fold them in half like this, and hold the tip of the stem, and then just pull. Very quick and easy. Okay, now let's toast the glutinous rice. Put in a pan along with the sliced lemongrass. And for kaffir lime leaves, I personally prefer hand rip to break out the aroma a bit. And we are using the medium low heat, so it's easy to control the rice and not burn it easily. Then we want to keep it moving. This should take between 5 to 10 minutes. We want to keep it going until the rice turns beautifully golden brown and the herbs get crispy, so it's easy to be blended with the rice. I am making quite a lot this time since I plan to cook several main noodles that require ground toasted rice as one of the ingredients. But if you don't plan to finish them within a few days or a maximum a week, I recommend you to make it just enough for what you need for a meal. Because the special thing about ground toasted rice is its fragrance, but it's gone quite quickly when being kept for a while. Now it could be a little more brown, but I'm okay with it already, and the leaves are crispy now. And to grind them, you can either use the mortar and pestle. Mine is too tiny for this, as you can see. Or you can use the blender or coffee grinder instead. Anything convenient for you. I will not grind them too finely since I like to have some texture, like if it was done by mortar and pestle. And yay, got it! Then I'm just gonna put them in the jar. I am planning to have Isan food night tonight. I am from the southern Thailand, but I do love Isan or not Eastern food so much. So we're gonna make lap. Grilled pork with nam jim jiao, which I will put the recipe link below. And of course, we cannot miss some bam or papaya salad. But as you know, I don't have a big mortar, so how can I make it? The how to make papaya salad without a mortar will come so soon. So stay tuned. And what about you? What are you planning for dinner today? Share your dinner in the comment and have a lovely day. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see each other again in the next recipes. สวัสดีค่ะ